Hello everyone, welcome to Electronically Connected. In this video, we will be discussing what the hexadecimal number system is and how to convert a given hexadecimal number into its equivalent decimal form and again back from a decimal number to its hexadecimal equivalent. So let's get started. First, let's do a quick recap about what a hexadecimal number is. A hexadecimal number has a radix of 16, that is its base. So a number like 4d is a hexadecimal number because it has a base 16. Now each hexadecimal number has a 4-bit equivalent binary number which can be represented. A hexadecimal numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and after 9 it becomes a, b, c, d, e, and f. So let's see how to convert a hexadecimal number into a decimal number. Let's take for an example a given number 54.d2. This is my given hexadecimal number. Now to convert this hexadecimal number into its decimal form, let's take the weighted form. So 5, 4 and then we have a decimal point. So 5 is basically 5 into 16 to the power 1 plus 4 into 16 to the power 0 plus d into 16 to the power minus 1 because it is on the right hand side of the decimal point and then plus 2 into 16 raised to the power minus 2. Let's expand this. We have 5 into 16 which is 80 plus 4 into 16 to the power 1, 0 which is 1. So we have 4 plus d. Now d equivalent in my decimal form is 13. So we have 13 into 16 to the power minus 1 plus 2 into the 16 to the power minus 2. So we have 84 plus 0 0.8125 and then 2 into 16 to the power minus 2 which is 0 0.0078. 1, 2, 5. So adding all of this, we have 84.8203125 and hence this is my decimal number equivalent of 54.d2 in its hexadecimal form. Now let's see how to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number. Let's take the number 242 in its decimal form. So 242 is basically 242.0 because we don't have any decimal number presented here. So the numbers before the decimal, these numbers need to undergo a division by 16 because we're converting into a hexadecimal number which has a base of 16. So we'll divide by 16 and the numbers after the decimal point has to be multiplied by 16. So let's see how this has to be done. So let's take our number again and divide into few columns. So we have 242. Here my operation is we're going to divide by 16. After we divide by 16, what is my quotient? My quotient is 15. This is my quotient and my remainder is 2. Now again we will divide 15 by 16. So 15 and again divide by 16. As 15 is smaller than 16, we don't have any quotient and the remainder is 15 itself. And we're done. Now we have to write the numbers from top to bottom. So we have 242 in its decimal form written as 15, 2. But the point to be noted here is that 15 is not a hexadecimal number. This needs to be converted into a hexadecimal form. So 15 is basically f in hexadecimal form. So 242 is f2 in its hexadecimal equivalent. Let's take another example. In this example, let's take some numbers which is after the decimal point. So 0 0.342. This is my number in the decimal form. So as explained earlier, the numbers after the decimal point has to be multiplied by 16. So let's see what happens over here. So when we multiply 0 0.342 into 16, we get 
5.472 and what we are interested is in 5. Next we will multiply these numbers. So 0 0.472 into 16 what we get is 7.552 again the number that we are interested is in 7. Again we have 0 0.552 into 16 this gives us 8.832 the number interested is 8 going forward we have 0 0.832 into 16 is 13.312 now 13 is what we are interested in but 13 is not a hexadecimal number and to convert 13 into a hexadecimal number it is D so now we need to follow top to bottom sequence to write the answer. So 0 0.342 in its decimal form can be represented as 0 0.578 D in its hexadecimal equivalent. So always the thing that we need to remember is the conversion after 10. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in its decimal form is equivalent as A, B, C, D, E and F. This is what we need to remember when we are converting any decimal number into its equivalent hexadecimal form. With this, we come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Till then, happy learning.